What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the there has been an error joining a session when trying to play GTA 5 online on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, make sure to close GTA 5 and visit this page. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. Here, you can preview the server status for GTA 5 online for every platform. The second link in the description will show you hourly reports for server issues. And below, you can preview the live outage map to see where the issue is coming from. In case the servers in your area seem unaffected, then the issue might be related to your own network connection, to software running on your system, or to the game files. Make sure that your game files are complete and up to date. Open up your Epic Games or Steam Launcher and here navigate to your game library. Click on this burger menu for GTA 5 and select Verify to verify the integrity of your game files. This will take a minute to re-download and reinstall any missing or corrupted game files. In case the issue is related to your own network connection, then make sure to test your connection by visiting speedtest.net. A normal up and download speed without interruption is important to have a stable gaming experience. Especially your ping should remain below 100 milliseconds. Make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. Next, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command can in some cases fix the error joining sessions for GTA 5. You can now exit out of your command prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open up the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only end the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address, in case the error is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R, and in this dialog box, enter control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet. Network and Sharing Center and here select your connection. This will open up this window, containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to Properties and lastly, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS Server Addresses option and as your preferred DNS server, use 8888 and as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. This will for a lot of users fix the error when joining a server, as these are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. Lastly, in case you still get the error, then you most likely have software running on your system, which is hindering you from playing the game. To fix this, I suggest ending processes from running in your task manager of recently installed programs which can change your files, or use up your available resources, such as OBS, Shadowplay, CCleaner or Adobe applications to troubleshoot which program is causing the error. When loading into the game, make sure to start with your story mode offline character first and then switch to multiplayer. This workaround should help a portion of users but it's not a permanent fix. As a last resort, I suggest restarting your system. This will reconnect your network connection 
and should enable you to join an online session in GTA 5. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.